2019 Volkswagen Jetta Prototype First Drive Review, a desert rendezvous with a secret sedan. Maricopa, Arizona. Nothing about driving the new 2019 Volkswagen Jetta for the first time is a typical experience. For one, we're in Arizona. At the company's proving grounds, a 1,600-acre facility surrounded by massive walls designed to keep folks like us out. Inside are two Jetta prototypes. Pre-production cars really, swathed in swirly camouflage with heavy blankets covering most of the dash and center console. And yet, here we are. Invited to a place we've never been before, although relieved of our cameras and smartphones, for security purposes. Now, other manufacturers have had us to their secret proving grounds on similar adventures, but Volkswagen hasn't in recent memory. At a minimum, it's an unusual move for an automaker entailing lots of risk that we might see something before we're supposed to. It's fascinating to take a peek behind the curtain. APG's senior director, the affable James Marcella, is eager to show us all the goodies he can. Having been here for 25 years, He's rightfully proud of the facility, which is used by all brands owned by the Volkswagen Group, even Man, Scania, and Ducati. During the main testing season, flocks of engineers migrate from Germany to the proving grounds, occupying a huge bank of cubicles and competing for time on the various test courses. They include a massive banked high-speed oval, which can't set more than 30 degrees, torture chambers that bombard cars with salt and gravel and a place where about 125 cars bake in the merciless Arizona sun all year long. There's a room where previously tortured cars are ripped apart, which happens in a room that looks pretty much like the room you might expect to find the pieces of a crashed alien spacecraft. It seems like a cool place to be an engineer, but a rough place to be a car. The story of the brand new Jetta doesn't start in Arizona, however. Back in 2010, we drove the Jetta that was born out of the new compact sedan program, Volkswagen's main salvo in an attempt to become a much higher volume player in the U.S. market. It was also an attempt to deconstruct the notion that the Jetta was a compact, near-luxury sedan built to do battle with Volvo and Acura, and priced accordingly. That meant it a contented, a nice way to say cheaper, Americanized a nice way to say softer, Jetta built in Mexico and aimed specifically at domestic tastes. Cost cutting was evident everywhere, at first glance, and was rightly a major preoccupation of our reviewer at the time. It was a preoccupation of buyers, as well, Jetta never reached the summit of the Kerala, Civic Sales Mountain. In 2013, VW spent some money to make the cabin look nicer, and in 2014 some of the powertrain economization was reversed as the Jetta ditched its boat anchor of a 2.5-liter inline 5 and adopted the company's modern 1.8T, as well as gaining electric power steering on most trims and real independent rear suspension instead of a torsion beam rear axle. It wasn't enough to move the needle, however. Jetta MK Vice nails habitually hovered around the 15,000 units per month mark, while Corolla regularly exceeded 25,000 units during the same months. That might lead you to think the idea of a Jetta built to a price is out the window, and that's what we are most interested to discover driving the car around APG. After a tour of the facility, we headed to a short, low-speed course. It's apparently used to test vehicle fuel tank ventilation systems to make sure they work properly by sloshing fuel around. It was basically a low-speed autocross course, and it revealed a few notable things about the new Jetta that shouldn't change too much by the time it heads to production. For one, the exterior is sharp. Literally. The belt-line crease under the window sills is incredibly pronounced, as are the fillets at the edges of the hood. Our first tester was an upmarket rim, probably in cell. It had complex, Interesting headlight elements and upscale, two-tone leather seats. A peek under the blankets covering the dash and center console revealed Volkswagen's digital cockpit, although it was in some sort of debugging mode and didn't display a normal interface. The door cards had an insert that looked like patterned aluminum, and it nicely set off the angular inset for the door handle. The door pulls, however, were hard, nasty plastic.
and while other parts of the door card were soft touch plastics they didn't look like it. The bottom line is that the interior is much more like the new Atlas than the outgoing Jetta, in both good and bad ways. It's also adequately roomy, particularly in back, for normal-sized humans.